Hey, and welcome to the Toadstead. And, uh, well, we got a few things cruising along, but it's all kind of related. Let's see, uh, I'll get back to that. Uh, right now, just kind of modifying. This is the part that replaced our drawbar. And, uh, while we like the drawbar a lot, the, uh, this thing is going to really help a bunch in the near future. And what we've done, we've made a video of replacing the drawbar. The, the original one was for more or less just the bottom of this with a brace that attached to the lifting arm so it couldn't spin. And we used it for moving the trailers around and it was really handy. But having the one that attaches on the, on the, on the top link, well, obviously you can see what it does. It gives us a lot more strength and uh, we're just kind of tinkering. I just tack welded this bit on top and what this is for should be kind of obvious but this hook which is a 3 8 and uh, 5 16 style hook it's gonna need just a little modification to work perfectly but this is so we can lift things like telephone poles logs and basically it's a skitter and we kind of just got a few little bits threw this together and uh, Tacked it up, looked at it. It's not quite perfect. We're gonna have to throw a couple bushings in here to tighten things up, because that's kind of point loading the center of that pin. Eh, maybe okay, I don't know. It's not hard to weld a couple of bushings on there to take up some of that slack, make it a little uh, a little cleaner. And then I uh, got another idea, which we'll probably show you, maybe even in this video. This one's kind of, this video's kind of being made as I'm doing it. So then what we got over here, this under the winch, let me circle around. That's the platform that uh, we just removed it from the front of our car trailer. And this, this uh, platform was put on there from the factory for a winch, but it was too narrow this way. As you can see, the width is fine, but it was too narrow. So what I've done is I have a piece of, uh, I can't remember the sizes, but that's basically the same size as what you would put oh, on a trailer to put a, a two inch fitting into. It's basically the same size as that. This will slide into it. And I bought a bunch of that because we do monkey with trailers around a lot here. And there you can see it tack welded onto the platform. And the platform, as you can see, that is not thin steel at all. But this is going to space the platform away from the front of the trailer a little bit more because the, uh, the rails, the, this winch would have touched the rails and not had the clearance to sit here. So, got that tacked on. We'll, uh, I like using the little wire feed welder to get stuff tacked on before we break out the big buzz box and you can see it's all prepped to uh there's a little tack weld there but it's all prepped to used to use the big arc welder to put some serious stuff on it and what i'm doing now is getting ready just to kind of i kind of look it's up here looking at it hey i, I admit it i stop and look at things and just enjoy that got to pull that big bugger off and get the grid done to begin drilling the holes to uh, mount it and we'll get that all straightened out and then we'll start welding it back together but uh, today's kind of a cloudy crappy raining on and off day and for those of you who watch the channel you've seen the uh, the schizophrenic shop videos and this is what the shop looks like when it's in metal mode because uh, <laughs> Well, you know, metal and sawdust don't go together. Woodworking does not like oil working, and oil working certainly doesn't like sawdust. You can still see some bits of some of the things left over when we put the we put the shop in metal mode. So I guess you'd call this a minor schizophrenic shop video, but not really, because there's not much. There's not a lot of different things going on right now. Today is 
getting ready to put that winch on the front of that black 20 foot car trailer. And preparing this, I guess we'll still call it a draw bar, getting this in the position where it can do everything the old draw bar used to do as far as trailer moving, plus being able to skid large pieces of wood, which is coming something else to look forward to. You'll get to see that pretty soon. So there we are, mid-work. Okay, we're a little schizophrenic. There is a, uh, a Gen Air downdraft uh, stovetop that the, the new owner is coming to get. <laughs> anyway, okay, can't have just one thing going on, right? Thanks a lot for coming along, and we'll see you next time around.